Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, we're continuing the trend of Fate home screen setups. So following on from the Nero and Medusa setups, this time with a request score of over 4,000, I bring you Joan of Arc. This is going to be another one in my series on how to customize your home screen like a pro. A series where I show you how you can easily and quickly get these stunning minimalistic setups on your Android phones. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the previous episodes. And following that format, I'm going to show you how you can take a basic home screen setup and turn it into something like this. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So here she is, with sword and spear in hand, standing tall in front of an onlooking dragon, Joan of Arc. With this home screen setup, I've gone for a red accent color with ashy tones to match. Keeping things simple with a center date widget just above the lower icons on our screen, and along the side, a custom colored battery level indicator. This setup will be running Nova Launcher using KWGT widgets and to complete the look I'll be using the Hex Installer for system wide customization. The link for these and everything else that you're going to need are going to be in the description below. Now as a quick note, if you want that full screen edge to edge look for your home screen setup without those ugly signal bars, then make sure you disable the notification bar within Nova Launcher settings. And to get this comfy icon layout, Make sure to head to Nova's home screen settings and change the grid size to 5 across and 12 down. And to really clean up your home screen, I highly recommend you turn off icon labels, increase your icon size, as well as disabling your home screen dock. Now that we have that out of the way, the icon pack that we're using in this setup to give us this red, white and grey ashed out look is the Root Junkie Pack. Just simply head to Nova's look and feel section and set the pack as your system icons. And before we go any further, make sure you grab this unique wallpaper from my very own custom creation app. Just simply head to the live video section and you'll find it there. And remember, if you have any wallpaper suggestions of your own, make sure to let me know from right within the app itself and boost the ones that you want to see next. Next up, these awesome KWGT widgets. But before we get into them, we need to make sure that we enable widget overlapping. You can find this at the bottom of Nova Launcher's home screen section. Just simply make sure to enable both of these options here. Now that we have that out the way, let's move on to our KWGT widgets. So starting at the top of our screens with this color customized battery level indicator, courtesy of the Terra Pack is widget 002. So let's start by loading in the KWGT layout to our home screen and then we want to resize it so it looks something like this. And because it is overlapping our home screen app icons, make sure to long press it and select the option to send it to the back. Now within KWGT, there are a couple different tweaks that we need to make. The first of which is switching up that base theme of the widget, taking it from the default turquoise look to something a little bit more suited. For this, just simply head over to the global tab and change the theme option from mint dark to velvet red. Next up, using the layer tab, we want to start increasing the widget size. And remember, you can always come back here and adjust this whenever you want. Now for my screen size, a setting of 94.7 was perfect. Now don't worry, we're going to rotate the widget next. Just head over to the item list and then head into the overlap group. Now using the layer tab here, you'll be able to set its rotation to 270 degrees, making it fit perfectly within our layout. Now while we're here, let's also push the widget a little bit closer to the left hand side edge of our screens. Using the positioning tab, just simply set its X offset to minus 20. 
Now those eagle-eyed of you may have noticed that the witch's current shade of red is a little bit lighter than the rest of the home screens. So in order to fix this, still within the overlap group, we're going to head into the shape item. And once here, let's head over to the paint tab, where using the tick boxes, we want to select the color option. After which, just hit the calculator button in the top right of your screens. Now, by simply tapping on the color option, you'll be able to enter this custom color code, or even adjust it manually through the color wheel. And of course, make sure to hit save before you leave. Now for the second widget of the setup, located at the bottom of our screens, this bold date indicator, straight from the rainbow pack, is widget 52. So let's start once more by loading in a KWGT layout to our home screen, and then we want to resize it so it looks something like this. And just like we did in the first widget, make sure to long press it and select the option to send it to the back, placing it behind our app icons. Now here, additionally, I'm also going to toggle on the padding option. Now, within KWGT, let's start things off by adjusting the widget size. So to do this, we're going to head over to the layer tab. Here, we want to select scale by using the tick boxes, and then hit the calculator button in the top right of our screens. Now, as we change the scale, we can visually see it on screen. Here, I'm going for a scale of 75.3. And wrapping up this widget, we're going to shuffle it a bit higher up the canvas. So just like we did in the first widget, let's head into the overlap group. But this time, using the positioning tab, we want to adjust its Y offset, setting it to minus 60. And wrapping up the setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across the whole system including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. And alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app One Shade. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And if you have any theme suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.